I love working, guys. I love working. When I'm not distracted, love working. I'm a YouTuber. Hey, guys. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. I know I did. Wow. Guys, I woke up at 5 a.m. It's now 6 a.m. Having my coffee and working on an Ants Canada video, which is due tonight. Um, got a long day of work ahead. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. This here is the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Um, the private home of me and my partner, RJ, that uh, we recently finished this year. Uh, it took five years to build this place. Um, and I love this time of the day, well, like the wee hours of the morning, because like the house is still quiet. I can get a head start on getting work done and feel productive. This is the yard. It's been raining um, because like it's typhoon season. A typhoon recently passed through the Philippines, but it's still um, raining. Uh, yesterday it was scattered showers, so it was sunny and then it was raining and then sunny and then raining again um, But I don't mind because like look look at how healthy the plants are during this rainy season totally Like lush plant life wait guys actually one thing I want to show you is this we bought some new plants by the way See beautiful RJ likes the berries of these plants, so we'll plant these we're not sure where Beautiful, beautiful plants. But that's not what I wanted to show you. This here, look. So, there are these awesome climbing epiphytic plants here, see? Because it's been raining for rainy season, it has totally climbed the tree. And then come summertime, like February, March, um, it kind of like shrivels up. But that is so cool to see epiphytic climbing plants up this tree. So in the night, we bring all of our cushions for our outdoor furniture here. So that, you know, it doesn't get wet, nice and shaded. Um, and then during the day, when it's not raining, we put them back. Um, and as I've mentioned before, this outdoor furniture is awesome. It's designed for outside, so it can get wet. And it's made of a material that dries quickly. There's our staff house. Um, some of our team members are probably waking up right now and they'll be up shortly. OMG, the pool is calling me. I could go for a dip, but now I'm gonna start working. I love working, guys. I love working. When I'm not distracted, love working. I'm a YouTuber, in case you don't know. <laughs> Duh, you guys are watching YouTube. Um, but. I'm uh, currently editing for the Ants Canada channel, my largest channel. Is it my main channel? I don't know if I would say that because I think I spend more time on this channel vlogging, but it's one of my channels, I guess. This here is my breakfast, literally. I uh, kind of skip breakfast usually. Um, I just, like, I'll wake up hungry, but as soon as I have my coffee, my hunger goes away for some reason. Um, and it helps me keep my daily calorie count lower. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy just having a coffee for breakfast. And guys, lately, this. So Ed Mark brought this, guys. It's an espresso coffee maker. You guys know this. It's basically kind of like a Keurig. Um, you know, I, I grew up having a Keurig. And then I stopped using Keurig because as I started to become more of a coffee lover, I started to appreciate things like fragrance of coffee beans, you know, the flavor of coffee beans, things like that. Um, and so I converted from either instant coffee or Keurig to freshly ground beans. Let's take you guys over to my coffee bar. Uh, see, I've got here Amare coffee blend. We just got some blueberry. Oh my gosh, I can't even smell the blueberry right now. Vietnamese coffee beans. So see, like I just grind it up and then put it into a coffee press, which is right there. 
This coffee press was a gift to my parents on their wedding day. So this thing is older than me and I'm using it today. And yeah, I prefer coffee this way. However, guys, let me tell you, although it doesn't smell and taste as good as freshly ground beans, the caffeine in this Nespresso thing, there are several kinds you can choose from, but I've been choosing this one. Ispirazione Italiana Nespresso Napoli. So Naples coffee. OMG, it is so strong. Like, I would need two cups of those freshly ground beans to get the same kick that I get from this. So it really depends, guys, on why you drink coffee. Like, do you drink coffee because you enjoy the experience of the taste and flavor? Or do you drink it as a drug to stay awake? Because um, if you do drink it as a drug to stay awake, wow, this Nespresso thing, this particular Napoli, oh, you'll be awake for days. It's all personal preference, I guess. Uh, we got that Nespresso machine because, you know, our guests might find the process of grinding freshly ground beans um, and then putting in a French press a little too tedious. At least that, it's just a push of a button and they have coffee already. And you can choose from several different cups. So, I don't know guys, what do you think? All you coffee lovers, do you prefer freshly ground beans or do you prefer something like that or like a Keurig? Let me know in the comments. This can apply to so many different things like whiskey too. Do you drink whiskey for the taste, the aroma, you know, the whole process? Or do you think drink whiskey to get drunk? <laughs> Same thing. Because that will determine what brand of whiskey you drink. So a little behind the scenes on the making of an Ants Canada video, I'm currently dumping um, files. Uh, stayed up all night yesterday filming um, some final shots. I've been working on this particular video for two weeks. Um, it's almost finished. Come on, 99%. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. I currently don't have a team. At one point, I did have help for the Ants Canada channel. I had one editor, but it's very tough, guys. <laughs> and um, a lot of them resigned. I think we've, I, in the past, I've had three editors. Uh, it's hard. Like I, uh, it takes about a year to master the style of the storytelling and the editing. It's not just like we or we hire any editor and they edit like a vlog together in any style whatsoever. No, the Ants Canada channel, I think part of the reason it's done so well is because it it's a storytelling uh, channel and it, it's a certain style of storytelling. See, this here is some BTS. Uh, I always do that, the flourish. That's a very Ants Canada thing. Um, and look at this, some of this footage is so cool. See? Ants drinking from a tiny drop of honey. Guys, these ants are like two millimeters in length. But look at how big they look with my macro lens. And I can really blow it up to like fill the screen. See, isn't that cool? Um, and then yesterday I had to build the tank. Let me show you what the tank looks like. Well, it's actually an ant island, see? So they live on this island. The ants are stranded because of this barrier here. It makes them slip off. By the time you guys see this, the ants this video will be up. So you could go watch it on the Ants Canada channel. Now it's amazing how quickly this colony grew. It was really small at first. This was taken a month ago. So I've actually been working on this, oh no, two months ago. I've been working on this for two months, this video. See, really young colony, that's the queen right here. Those are her nanitics, they're called, the first generation of workers. And all of these are her brood. And then, two months later, this is what the colony looks like now. Look at that huge brood pile. See, look at all those eggs. These are all eggs. This here's a larva, that's a larva. And then there's a pupa that's gonna turn into a worker soon. Now this species of ant is actually a species that I might have discovered. Guys, can you imagine? It might be an undiscovered species. And we just found it in our backyard. See, there's the queen right there. See her, she's kind of reddish. She's tired. She's been raising this huge family. 
Anyway, the video is about moving this um, young ant colony onto this beautiful lush island. So yeah guys, I'm like really grateful to be able to do this for work. It's a lot of work, but like I love it. And again, if I'm not distracted, for example, if, if I don't have a new pet or something, <laughs> I like to do this. But if I have a new pet, like a new bird or something, oh my gosh, I'm like trying to finish this quickly so I can get to the new pet. All right, I'm gonna get to work for real now. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, taking a break. And look, the sun is coming out and the light just spills beautifully onto the tiles here. I love natural sunlight. Um, and it's actually healthy for a circadian cycle to see sunlight in the morning. So I'll open these curtains. Yes. All right. And guys, I really love this workspace. This was really my dream, having um, my editing table and chair there and having a nice view of the outside. For years, I edited like in this little corner of my condo in the dark, like not even facing a window. So this is a very welcome, welcome um, change, I guess, from what I've been used to over the years. All right, guys, 8 a.m. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Oh, beautiful. Man, I, I am definitely going to take a break to swim in that pool later. If this weather keeps up, look at that. Guys, the birds. Listen to the bird sounds. <whistles> Hear that? <laughs> gorgeous. I've been hearing that bird all morning. Birds already had their breakfast. See? They're kind of just hanging out now. Um, birds all the way up there, getting some sun and flying down to greet us. Hi there. Hi. This is probably Ruby. Hi, Rubes. So cute. Guys, look. There's Billy hanging out on that hill, chewing. He probably had breakfast already. Look at all of that vegetation, guys, that he could eat. And I just noticed that chestnut munia, that bird. I think it has a nest in that tree, or it's thinking of building a nest in that tree. We find the chestnut munias love, love, love these trees. Oh, cool, guys, another flower. So this here happens to be our most successful house plant. It's probably a year old now or so or getting there and guys this is its second flower it's like a huge it's like a big peace lily you'll see it'll unravel in this beautiful like peace lily flower comes out of there oh this plant is doing so well love it guys i'm taking a break from editing to just enjoy the home <laughs> even though we've lived here for over a year i still love to just take the time to hang out in all places and just enjoy right guys like not take any of it for granted sometimes i hang out on that couch there um sometimes i'll wander into the guest rooms and just hang out guys let's choose a guest room for a sec hmm how about the yellow room shall we Ooh, here's the yellow room and oh my, it smells so good in here. <gasps> Love it. So this yellow room really like looks the best at sunset. Like as the sun is setting, you guys have seen the light just comes and spills through this window. Sunset is over there. And it looks really, really peaceful and zen. Ah. Ah, I could just lay here all day. So nice. There's a massage table. Um, when we have guests, we just unfold that and get the in-home service uh, massage people to come in and give our guests massages. They can log on to their Netflix and Disney Plus and all of that HBO and watch there. But RJ and I currently don't watch television. We haven't had television for years. Guys, I wish I could just lay here 
for the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, I love the energy of this yellow room. And then it emerges to a sunny aviary and birds up there screaming at the sunrise. <laughs> and here they come to greet. Hi there. Hi guys. <laughs> so interactive these birds. This is probably Gabriella. Hi Gabs. Speaking of birds, let's go into the green room for a sec. The best room for bird watching, like wild birds. If you're new, this here's the green room. Yes, really beautiful at this time of the day, any time of the day really. But it's up in the trees, guys. So we could see the birds that make all that noise in the morning. Well, not noise, it's like beautiful song. There's the pool. Um, and there's Lendon, one of our helpers. He's setting up Polly, the robot, to vacuum the pool. Love the peaceful mornings here at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. You know, it really helps to build a space that is best conducive to peace. <laughs> I find that all around helps for not only well-being, but also productivity, creativity, um, I'm all for like creating good energy um, because it helps you output things with good energy. If you're in a place with not so good, good energy, like negative energy, dark energy, tendency is your output will also be dark. It doesn't have to be YouTube videos, it could be anything. The way you treat other people, um, the words that come out of your mouth, it's all a reflection of like your environment that you absorb. That's what I find and feel anyway. What do you guys think? Even the darkest room of our home, which is the Joseph room, like still has a welcoming energy. Like see, during the mornings, let me open this further. It feels good and welcoming. RJ and I still have to actually sleep in our guest rooms. We don't know what it feels like. Only our guests do, <laughs> but I want to try sleeping here one one night. The parrots are singing. Um, I find parrots are like roosters. So they screech instead of crowing. They screech morning and then sunset. And then at times during the midday and then sporadically through the day. Um, they'll also screech when they see like another bird fly over the aviary. Um, they'll screech for different reasons, but I like the sound of it. You hear that? It's, for me, it sounds tropical. It's reminiscent of the tropics and the jungle. So I kind of like it. None of our guests have really complained about it. So it's a good thing. All right, guys, it's back to work. Let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm here in my recording booth. Need to record the voiceover for the Ants Canada channel. I really need to have, speaking of good energy, I need to be in a good headspace. Like when reading the script that I spent all of yesterday and some of this morning writing, I gotta be in a good energy. Cause if I'm not in a good mood or like, if, if my mood, my real mood inside doesn't match the mood I was in writing, it'll come across in the voice. Like, you know, the, it won't really match. So this is where I record. And I try to remember what it felt like filming what it is I'm narrating. And so the good energy comes out in the voice and they can feel it when they watch the video. All right, guys, behold, the new island paradise I call the jungle gym. And until we revisit the jungle gym, thank you so much for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever. All right, and we're done. Guys, remember this? The citrine stone that we bought in Chargao. It represents positive energy, brightness, and cleansing. Yes, so I'm wearing it today. I love this stone. I love what it represents. It's what we're about, guys. And guys, speaking of brightness, look at all that natural sunlight coming in. Even the ant room, so nice. See, love all that natural light. That's why plants do so well here in the ant room. See, this red Congo loving that sunlight. 
And here is the precious new antarium we made. Editing that video now. Isn't it cute? And there are the ants living on that little tree. They live inside this test tube thingy here. Um, and this is their island. See that? I was filming. And it gets a lot of really beautiful natural sunlight. This took a while to create, guys. There's Jabba the Hut. Hi, Jabba. He must be six years old now or so. That is one happy and fat frog, guys. <laughs> this here is our Kenneth Kobunpue uh, limbo chandelier. And I find it looks really beautiful, even in the morning when it's not on, just because the light like spills in this way and it kind of illuminates the back leaves this really beautiful kind of silhouette of a semi-transparent human holding this chandelier. I'm gonna swing on the chandelier. Hi, Lucky Duende. Good morning. Tabi tabi po. Okay, guys, first snack of the day is pineapple. So good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice and sweet. Mm-hmm. All right, Mabuhay squad. Also, having my protein shake. I usually drink this while I'm working out, but I'm not going to the gym today because I'm working. So I got protein isolate, probably the best form of protein, assuming you guys are not um, lactose intolerant. Got uh, collagen peptides, yes for ligaments and joints, skin, that kind of thing, and some creatine monohydrate. I also have vitamins later in the day. Take my supplements. Gosh, health is wealth for real. All right. Guys, also chlorella powder for minerals and vitamins and a bunch of other health benefits. Stick that in there. Mm. See, see that green stuff? Whoa. All right. And then, now that I've added the green stuff, time to add some brown stuff. 100% cacao powder for flavonoids. Guys, dark chocolate. Oh, so you know what? Yesterday, guys, I discovered that what we do here actually has a name. It's called biohacking. Guys, I'm a biohacker. Apparently biohacking is like making changes to your lifestyle, uh, routine, every like diet, nutrition, all of that to maximize your mental health, your longevity, like physical health, all of that. I'm a biohacker guys, how did I get here? Health is wealth, like they always say. All right, we're ready to add water. Guys, look at that. See that? And let me tell you something, it tastes really good. Love biohacking. Yes. Reverse aging, all of that good stuff. Mmm, so good. In case you guys are wondering where we get most of our stuff, it's just online. We go on Shopee here in the Philippines, but I'm sure you guys could order all your health goods online. And guys, you can start biohacking at any age. I'm 42, but like my, my fitness and body and like activity level and energy level and emotional health, spiritual health. It's all better now than it was back when I was in my 20s or even my 30s. OMG, I really treated my body and my mental health, emotional health very poorly in my 30s. So I guess biohacking now in my 40s is kind of like my way of saying sorry to myself in the 30s for being so cruel to myself. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how quickly the weather can change. Downpour, whoa. See that, guys? Holy. Man, but you know what? Swimming in this weather is so refreshing. Drink, my plants, drink. But that's okay, I'm indoors working anyway. Guys, how's the weather where you guys are at? I know if you're in Toronto, 
I get Toronto updates on weather from our smart, smart health system and it's supposed to be really really hot right now in Canada. How about you guys? Is it good weather? Let me know in the comments. Guys, there's RJ. Hey, Ben. Hi. Me and him shared a dragon fruit. Guys, it's in season, he says, so it's cheaper. And did you know it grows from a cactus? I can't wait to grow this. This is one of my bucket list fruits to grow on our farm lot. Speaking of which, guys, do any of you in the Philippines know, like, farming um, consultants? who can literally like be here with us and help us plant, well, provide and supply fruit bearing trees, vegetables, all of that, and can help us like zone our side lot so we can finally start planting stuff for, you know, our crops. I'm assuming we need to do this during rainy season and not during the summer. Am I right? Anyways, all of you Mabuhay Squad out there, let me know if you know any um, agricultural consulting companies that we could work with. Because as much as I've studied, I'm still greatly inexperienced at farming. And it would really help. All right, so you guys will be with me for a few minutes while I work. So right now I'm cutting my dialogue. I finished the intro of the video. Now I'm just cutting my video. They love trees, sticks and twigs. And in fact, I have not seen them nest in soil, See? but rather within hollow sticks of dead plants. This I is a very to tedious part. In climbing areas and plants to prefer habitat in the wild. Mm -hmm. And love to run, forage, and forage all surfaces they could travel. Oh, mistake. And love to run, forage, and forage all surfaces. Gotta cut out that mistake. And love to run and forage all surfaces they could travel. So guys, before my birds used to love sitting in the rain, like right when summer ended and it never rained, they loved sitting in the rain. They're like, yes, water. But now that it rains every day, guys, I see them hiding under the shade. They still like go out in the rain, but generally they just prefer to be in the shade now. Is it too much, guys? Is it too much, too much? All right, guys, it's 1 p.m. Well, 111, make a wish, guys. Ooh. Wow, it's 25 in Toronto. For some reason, guys, I, I get Toronto weather reports. And I'm having another coffee. Gosh, that caffeine, though. Hey, Sifes. Taking a nap? <laughs> this is Cypher. He sleep. Good boy. Good boy. All right, guys, now that it's afternoon, it's about it's 3.23. Time for my first real meal. No snacking now, guys. So, gonna be eating this gruel, healthy gruel. Overnight oats, you guys know, I've already talked about this. It's got a whole bunch of awesome ingredients, but I like to have it before like my main dinner because it's so full of fiber, which will slow down digestion, which means you can extract all those nutrients from the food you eat. So good. Guys, why am I so obsessed like this? Biohacking. I know why, because it's good and it feels good. Mmm. 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 Sweetened with dates. <laughs> Guys, we're eating mango steam too. Mmm. Favorite fruit ever. So delicious, guys. It's like real life Jolly Rancher, and that's all I gotta say. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, Saba, sweet planting, see? I mean this, mm. it's like candy, nature's candy. Ah, and guys, I am done, yay! So, videos rendering, I finished the editing part, gotta design a thumbnail, upload it, enter all the information, tags, description, all of that, and then guys, finally, my work day is done. Woohoo! Finished early today, that's great. All right guys, guess what? We've earned it. Time for pool time, even though it's raining. Rain or shine, guys. Rain or shine. Ooh, all right. Gonna open this pool bar. I like to see it open when I'm swimming. All right. Beautiful view. Let's do this. No sunscreen needed. Let's go. Oh, it's warm actually. 
Oh, ooh, it's cool and warm, if that makes sense. Oh, guys, this is awesome. Here we go. Time to dip the whole body. Okay, it's a bit on the cool side. Yes, but so worth it. Guys, we earned this pool time. We've been working all day, okay guys? Let's swim together. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it's all slightly on the cool side. Oh, especially down here in the deeper end. Um, it's been obviously raining all day, so pool is a bit on the cooler side. Swim, guys, swim. Feel the water. Swim with me, see? Relaxing. Water lightly falling from the skies. Thank you, life. Plants are happy right now. See? Mmm, guys. I smell fried chicken. Mmm. I think our staff members are having Jollibee chicken. Mmm. It smells so good. Uh-oh. I hear thunder. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go because I'm going to do some laps. going to do some cardio and meditate for the next, like, 30 minutes. I'll see you in a sec. Oh, man, guys. It just got super dark. Like, I mean, it's approaching sunset time, but the sky is just so cloudy. It's really peaceful, even though things are gray. You know, some people ask, like, aren't you and RJ bored and lonely? You know, it's just the two of you in this house by yourself in an open space in the middle of like a tropical forest. But you know what? No. First of all, RJ and I are, we're homebodies. Uh, as a Cancerian, we love the home. Uh, uh, and clearly the water. But, oh sorry, you're fogging up. But, we enjoy being alone. Um, there's peace. Having a small, like, close friend circle too. There's peace to that. Back in my 20s when I had so many friends. <laughs> I'm so popular. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't. Um, but um, I found that when I was close to a lot of people, man, their dramas and the dramas I would get into um, was a lot and it was heavy at times. But now at this age, now that we've like, you know, kept our close circle of friends kind of small, less drama, there's peace, quiet. You know what I mean? Peace of mind. That is like valuable at this point of our lives. And where do we get our human connections? Well, our team members, our staff, we treat them like family. So we interact with them, our animals, <laughs> even though they're not humans, they're still like emotional connections to us. And all of you guys, um, every time I upload a vlog, I do feel like I'm somehow connected to you guys all over the world, even though I don't see you. Um, I do read your comments and all of that and I see you guys liking the videos and it just I don't feel alone <laughs> As long as I have you guys um, And then of course we always have guests and we're always entertaining people here. So Yeah, I like it when it's one of these days where nothing is happening. Sorry guys. This is another one of those repetitive vlogs I enjoy these quiet days at this stage in my personal life like I'm okay with quiet. Me and RJ's life had been so noisy over the past decade that we've been working in social media. So noisy, both online and in our lives. Loving this peace and quiet. Loving just hanging out in the water like I'm a piece of beef in Sinigang soup. I don't mind being beef in Sinigang, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, it's raining hard now. OMG! Okay. Anyways, I think I'm done swimming for now. I want to do some sauna. Let's do sauna time, guys. Let's do sauna. Ooh, though I do love swimming in this kind of rain too. So relaxing. Okay, let's get out. Put my slippers on. And let's go to the back to enjoy our new sauna. Come, guys. Let's go together. Let's hang out. Okay, this is the area where I get kind of nervous. I've never seen snakes here, but anytime I'm around like lots of vegetation like this and I've got a lot of exposed skin, I just naturally 
fear seeing snakes. Uh, all right, here's our new sauna. Okay, let's go in. Okay, but I'm also afraid there might be snakes inside the sauna. Oh, snakeies, if you're in here, you're about to get cooked. Ah. <laughs> all right, time for more peace and relaxation, guys. I'm gonna put you outside for now. And we're gonna be in here for a little while till we become real cooked beef. See you guys in a sec. I'll put you right here, outside. All right guys, 45 minutes in the sauna. Wow, okay, but seriously, after all that time in that oven, I need to do a quick dip inside the pool. Seriously, ah, oh, it's like an, guys, after that sauna, this is like an ice bath, seriously. Let's do this. <gasps> Ah. It feels so good. <laughs> okay, swam a little bit more guys, cause I just couldn't help myself, but I really gotta get out of this water and upload the video. I'm sure my video is done rendering now. Let's go inside guys. Oh, that was an awesome, awesome sesh. All right guys, and I created the thumbnail for the video it's gotta be eye-catching and stand out. What do you guys think? So us YouTubers, we gotta do everything. I mean, generally, like when we start off, we gotta learn to do graphics, we gotta learn to do marketing, we gotta, you know, learn to create the content, storyboard the content, brainstorm the content, um, optimize once it's up online, add tags, all of that. All right guys, now for the main meal of the day. All the work is done, it's 6.32. I got five eggs, cauliflower, black rice, and one fat pompano fish with onion and garlic. Yes! Guys, I spent the whole day with you. <gasps> wow. Okay, let's eat. Mm, I love egg, cauliflower. Mmm. Now, mm. for the pièce de résistance, my favorite fish ever. Have you guys ever had pampano? In English, it's called pompano. See, I think it's is it called skipjack? I don't know what it is. Guys. It's the best fish ever, though. It's from the ocean. Mmm. Mmm. So like. Mmm, guys, it's like not a fishy taste. For you Filipinos, the word is malansa. It is not malansa. It's just so juicy and like soft chicken of the ocean. Mmm. Ah. Guys, this pampano and meal, five mabuhay stars. <laughs> Just made another coffee, another Nespresso. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, as you can tell by my hair, I slept so well. Pillow here, pillow here, pillow here, hugging RJ. Oh, I slept so well. Guys, I think it was the, the sauna. Oh, slept like a baby. Like, I felt like a rock. That was one of the best sleeps ever. Anyways. Hope you guys slept well. Welcome to a new day. So guys, today, RJ and I are going grocery shopping. Ooh, I love when we go grocery shopping. Um, like for everyday groceries, um, good morning parrots. <laughs> for everyday groceries like, you know, fruit, veg, m meat even, fish, we, we should just go to the Palenque, like we have one of our team members go there and buy what we need. Um, but for other stuff, like kombucha, 
Um, gonna get that today. Coconut water, gonna get that today. Things like that. Um, we yeah. buy when we go to a place called SNR, which is the Philippines version of Costco. So RJ and I are basically going to Costco, guys. I love these days. Hey, Brittany. Yes. Hey, Brittany. <laughs> guys, this is Brittany. Okay, girl. Did you pee? Did you pee and poo? So yeah, she's a Mexican hairless, guys. If you're new, no hair at all, just skin. The breed evolved in the jungles of Mexico. So they're quite um, primitive as far as dogs go. They even have sweat glands, like they sweat. Sweaty, sweaty girl. And there's her best buddy. Hi, Vizal. Did you poo? Hmm? Did you pee and poo? You? He's a sweet one, this one. So big. Yeah. Here in the Philippines, they call them giant poodles, but it's really just a standard poodle. <laughs> Look at them. Let's go outside. They're like, hell no. We want to stay here. Come. Good girl, Brittany. Let's go. Ooh, I see they've moved some of the house plants outside. Good. Getting some natural sunlight and rain. Guys, this here is the strangest plant ever. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> it looks like warts or something. What a strange plant. All right, guys. I am packing baon, which Filipinos, that's the Filipino word for like takeaway lunch or takeaway meal. Um, so that I don't, I don't gotta buy at a restaurant or something or eat at SNR. Because that's when my diet will probably be screwed up with that, you know, SNR delicious pizza. So, I'm gonna bring this. All right, guys, here we are, grocery shopping. guys back home and oh the whole house smells so good jackfruit guys look at that yum guys let's try guys that session of shopping was so fun but you know it's more fun eating good fruits mmm <laughs> mmm oh my gosh mmm do you guys like jackfruit have any of you guys not tried jackfruit oh my god Oh, it's so good. It's not sour. It's like sweet, like pure sweet. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, my Buhai squad. Well, this vlog has certainly lasted forever. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. What was it about? It was about editing a YouTube video with me for Ants Canada. We talked about biohacking and all the healthy foods. Speaking of health, I'll be heading to the gym now because I wasn't able to go yesterday. But yeah, another one of those random vlogs, guys. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in and watching today's vlog and joining us here on this journey we call life here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Promise, next vlog, I'll try to do something different so things aren't so repetitive. But guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in every time we upload. It means a lot to me. And um, if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy these vlogs and that they're worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'm going to continue eating these blueberries. I'll see you in the next vlog, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.